Hey everybody, I want to get this off my chest because I just had a thought while I was just laying down on my bed, just thinking, what would make truck driving better? And I keep hearing all these stories about how trucky, trucking used to be like the biggest fucking thing in America, how truck driving was... You know, America's number one place to work. Or at least for people that are that have been trying to look for jobs and just couldn't get a good foot in in somewhere and, and thought, you know, let's try an eighteen wheeler. Um Pilot Pilot recently renamed uh or I guess I should say rebranded their company. Um and basically named their corporate division um, pilot company, something like that. Company's still pretty much the same name. I think this more or less means that Flying J will eventually turn into Pilot, even though they've been bought out by Pilot. I think more and more Flying Js will eventually turn into Pilot. Um, and I don't, I don't think that's entirely a bad thing or a good thing at the same time because we need we need more truck stops out there we need more truck stops that have good food good fuel good fuel prices i should say um clean showers clean bathrooms so on and so forth and big fucking parking lots that that's that's something i've always praised um, truck stops of America and Petro, um, they they they're technically one company as well. Or I don't know who merged with who. I'm pretty sure it's Petro that merged with with TA. Um, but I've always loved TA and Petro, mostly because of the restaurant that was provided in, in inside the damn truck stop, and every single travel. Centers of America or Petro, there was always big parking lots, clean bathrooms, clean showers, a restaurant with good, great quality food, and a great point system. Loves probably has the best point system but it has the worst food in fact they don't even serve their own food they they have fast food chains like mcdonald's subway um or chester's chicken and i hate to say it but loves i would highly recommend you step it up get a denny's instead of mcdonald's or, you know, a, a good restaurant that serves great quality food that has a breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu for all the kinds of people, for, for um, you know, for, for pretty much everybody out there. I know there are a few travel centers, there are a few Petros out there that have breakfast buffets. That's great. That's awesome. Literally ten fucking dollars, all you can eat, breakfast buffet. That is incredible. That's that's probably that's the best fucking thing since Golden Corral. And they still, I think they still do their ten dollar um, buffet shit as well. But still, you know, you, you can't get any better than ten dollar breakfast at a fucking Petro or TA or something like that. So, you know, I feel like there are truck stops that are doing at least one or two things right. And Pilot Flying J ha have been on the bottom of all these lists. Pilot Flying J might make their own food, like Quick Trip or Racetrack style, but a lot of their truck stops are not that big. They're the biggest truck stop from Pilot or Fly and J that I've seen is all the way in Jackson, Georgia. 
uh, in between Atlanta and Macon. So, and the TA there, the TA, unfortunately, there is just a little bit smaller in comparison to those, uh, to the pilot and Fly J that are over there. The pilot is actually huge. It's, it's big. And that pilot was just bought, I want to say like a, a, a few years ago. But point is, is that, is that, um, You know, all truck stops need to be big enough to where a, a, a truck driver should not take more than 10 minutes to find a spot. It should be that big. And I don't mean like massively huge, like the world's greatest or the world's biggest truck stop huge, but it needs to be a really decent size. And like I said, the majority of all the TAs and Petros out there are really, really big. They are, they have one of, uh, well, I want to say one of most, or the majority of all the TAs and Petros out there have large, uh, large parking spaces or yeah, large parking spaces. They have enough parking spaces to, uh, I can't remember how many tr uh, trucks can fit in one TA or Petro, but I'm, I'm sure it's well over, um, it's well over a thousand trucks that can fit inside of a TA. Meanwhile, a little less than 500 um, at, at Loves or, you know, a little less than 500 at Petro or not Petro, uh, Pilot, Flying J, you know, you don't, you don't get, you don't see, um, a truck stop that's out in the middle of nowhere that does not, unfortunately does not have a big truck stop. And truck stops are unfortunately so spread out for, from each other. And some of them just compete with one another by p placing truck stops right next to each other and that to me is bad business you want to you want to compete with the loves you should place your your uh, you should place your truck stop down the interstate maybe an exit or two down that way truck drivers have plenty of time to look for a truck stop or rest stop and that that brings in the next complaint to to me personally is welcome centers, rest areas, so on and so forth. Those places are never big enough, except for the welcome center here in Georgia and in Alabama on the I twenty line. Those are the biggest welcome centers I've seen in the South. I'm pretty sure there's one, uh, there's a, another big welcome center, um, north of 75 that is just south of, or no, that, that's not just south. That is a little way south of Chattanooga, but again, big, big welcome centers with, um, with parking space, with, with at least two or 300 parking spaces. That number might not be a lot, but. That's still a large parking area for a welcome center or a rest stop. We need more rest areas that have these large uh, uh, that that have these large areas, large parking areas dedicated for truck uh, de yeah dedicated for truck drivers, because unfortunately there's just not enough space for truck drivers to to plan ahead and, and unfortunately truck drivers still refuse to do that. Truck drivers nowadays just say, ah, we'll, we'll just go with it. And sometimes I've done that as well. 
I, I was like, ow, I'll just go for it. I know the way. I know where there's a truck stop. So we'll just stop whenever. We'll stop whenever I get tired. Or we'll stop whenever I get hungry. Or we'll stop when I have to go pee. You know, stuff like that. And um, I've never really considered doing, you know, any kind of planning until my later... Well, I, w I wouldn't say my later years, but until more recently like a year or two ago when i'm sitting here like well there's not that many truck stops out here in the south e in the southeast and in the midwest especially especially the midwest one of the uh, largest truck stops i've ever seen is in julia illinois it's a ta it's a very very big ta and that's the that's that's a good amount of uh, uh it's a good amount good uh, excuse me no i'm tired it's a good size for a truck stop like ta and i've seen tas out there that are not that big but close enough and that truck stop ha uh, in joliet has about um i want to say over a thousand spaces don't quote me on that, because I really don't know. But point is, is that there's, it's a big truck stop, and you know, it's big enough to be like, well, if I ever came in late, I can always, uh, I always know that there's a spot available, and even if there's not, I can always buy a, sp or I can always buy a spot for, um, for twenty dollars. And twenty dollars at a TA or Petro is not that bad. It, it, it's not that much, considering that you know truck drivers make, on average, depending on what they're carrying and where they're going, they make on average around a thousand to two thousand dollars a week, and that's just company drivers um, that are. Um, that that are just doing freight, uh, in the um, in in the eastern side of the United States. So you can't tell me that you can't cough up twenty dollars. What are you doing with those with that two thousand dollars? Owner operators, you guys are probably the most complainers that I've seen out there that have complained about having to suck up $20 or, or reserved parking. Okay, we need reserved parking out there. We need reserved parking for a reason. You know, because not everybody, unfortunately, not everybody can, uh, you know, can, can make it. And they all they always tend to call ahead, or at least they call to um, they know where they're going, they know what truck stop they're going to be at at the end of the day, and they call ahead probably that morning or probably that afternoon when they're at least four to five hours away from said truck stop. They always call ahead and make that reservation and th they'll typically keep that spot reserved until you come and you pay them you say okay well i'm about five hours out i'll see you guys in five hours and ta they have the nicest fucking people there or at least ta's petros loves have at least the nicest people there Loves doesn't have a reservation program, I don't think. And the Pilot Flying J reservation, I think, is $30. So either way, this is what that's why I always I've always recommended TAs and Petros to truck drivers out there. Or at least for, for those that are starting out as truck drivers, you, you always want to go for a big truck stop or a, at least a big named truck truck stop like TA or like Petro I even though Loves has 
to me, Love's has the best coffee. Um, and Petro Fly J might have the best pizza. But, goddamn, TA's Petro's have the biggest lots for truck drivers. They have a restaurant. I know Fly and J might have Denny's or something, but they have a restaurant at the TA's and Petro's. They have the nicest people there next to Love's. And, honestly, in, in my personal opinion, of all the times that I've been at Petro's and TA's and everywhere else, I've always seemed to enjoy the TA showers or the uh, the Petro showers more than I've enjoyed Love's or Pilot or Flying J. Now, trust me when I say this, I love the Love's showers. They're the cleanest showers you'll ever see. There's they they are as clean as this shower and in, 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 in right next to my bedroom. So, you know. That's how clean it is. And trust me, it's clean. We're not going to go look. That's just disgusting. And I don't think that's a lot on YouTube. But with that being said, that's just something I wanted to get off my chest. Something I I had a thought of. Some little ideas. and Who knows? I might I might start up a new uh, trucking series again in, in, in the near future. Might uh, do more hints, tips, whatnot. And I have my... I have my freaking wheel up here, so we might play some uh, American Truck Sim uh, on this channel very, very soon. Or whenever I get Comcast back, we'll play, and uh, we'll, we'll talk a lot about trucking and and my opinions and stuff like that. Or, better yet, whenever I get my new, next trucking job, whenever that might be, we'll probably do more trucking stuff then. But until then, that's all that I really have to say. So thank you, everybody, for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.